Hello, how are you? I hope you are fine. In previous lecture of HTML5, we learn about basic HTML form. In basic HTML form, we make a simple text field, password field, and the submit button. I hope you learn and enjoy a lot. For any query or issue, please comment me in the comment section of the previous video. Today, we will learn about HTML form attributes. There are different attributes for the HTML form. So, let's get started now. For this, I will open my editor. I will make a new file. I will set the title of our web page. I will save the file. I will start the form type and end it. I already typed the code. I paste it here to save our time. The first form attribute I will tell you about action. R write the, the action attribute defines the action to be performed when the form is submitted. Usually when we submit the form, the form data is sent to a file on the server and the file name we mention in the action. If we, if we will not mention the action, then the action is performed on the current page, right? I will type the action, sorry. I will mention the file name is verify.php, right? I will save it. I will save it and open in a web browser, right? You can see it, it shows the text field of name and the password field of the password and the submit button. So when we enter the data into the field and press the submit button, it goes to the verify.php. But here we are, but here verify.php is not avail available because we are learning the HTML, not the server side language. PHP. When I will tell you about PHP, then we will see how verify.php will work, right? So I will tell you about the HTML form action, right? I will type the name Said password, right? I will press the submit. You can see it here. It goes to the verify.php bar but it's not available and with the name with the file name there are parameters name is equal to size and password is equal to 123444 right when we learn php then it will work very fine i will tell you in the php series right there's one more attribute of form is a target right In target, there are five options, blank, parent, self, top, new. Usually, the blank self is used a lot, right? I will tell you about these two, right? If I type underscore blank, then the response of a web page is will be displayed in a new window or tab, right? If I will type the self, the response of a of a web page will open in a current tab, right? If I will type the parent, the response is displayed in the parent frame and the default is the cell, which means that the response will open in the current window or tab, right? Now I will tell you one more attribute is the method, right? In method, there, there are options of delete, get, post, and put. Usually, post and get are used a lot. I will tell you about these two. The method attributes specify the HTTP method to be used when the form is submitting. If we, if we will not mention the method, then by default, it will take get. Like in this scenario, we not mention that method. It shows the values 
and the parameter with the URL, right? If I will use the method post, now you can see the difference, right? I will save it. Right, I will type the say password this one submit now there is no value or parameter shown with the URL because we are using the post method method if we will use the get method I will explain to you now the value will shown with the URL right you know I will pass now you can see here the values are visible with the URL right I will tell you about some important thing about this to if we use the map method that I will attach with the URL so it's recommended never use the debt for sensitive data which are the data will be will be visible in the URL and the the length of of a URL is limited it's 2048 characters usually that is used when we search the data from a website like doodle when we use the post method it append that the form data inside append the form data inside the body of the http request and it's not visible in in the url post data has no size limit size limitation we can send large amount of data in the form it's re recommended to use form then get method right i hope you learn and enjoy a lot a lot for any query or issue please demand me in the comment section of the video please like share and subscribe my channel thanks for watching the video take care